días todos desde Puerto Escondido, Oaxaca, Mexico. Welcome to the street food tour. Now, Mexican street food is renowned for being some of the best in the world. And I've seen lots of street food tours on YouTube in Mexico City and in Oaxaca City and in Tulum, but I don't think I've actually ever seen one in Puerto Escondido, which is where we are living at the moment. And so today I thought I would bring you on a street food tour of Puerto Escondido, Oaxaca. David and I don't exactly know the best places to go so this is going to be a day of exploring pretty much t trying every street food that we see and find and uh, we're going to take you along with us so let's go in la tortuga mi scooter fuga la tortuga fuga la tortuga <laughs> Ir a ver? Yeah, sí. Con tacos. Right, first stop of the day is Playa Mobile, one that we were not planning on stopping in, but we saw it on the side of the road and we thought, let's give it a go. Hola, buenos días. Tenemos taquitos de cabeza de res a la por, lo que son nada más surtida, cachete y seso, nada más. Ajá. ¿Y cuál es la mejor? A mi gusto el cachete. Okay. So cachete, the beef cheek, is exactly what I ordered and David ordered surtida, which is the mixed. David also ordered this meat soup called menuda, which had inside... Chayote, ejote, zanahoria y menudencia. Es la carnita. Yeah, yeah. One of my favorite things about tacos here in Mexico is that there are always so many salsas and toppings that you can decorate your taco with to beef it out and make it bursting with even more flavor. So after we devoured our morning tacos and David finished that soup like a bowl of hot chocolate, we swiftly moved on. ¿Cuánto fue? 35 pesitos. ¿Por todo? Dos tacos y chocolate. Es caliente. Sí, mucho. Mucho, mucho caliente. Sí. Agárrala. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm, mm, mm. Nice. Prueba la tortilla. Mm. <laughs> Now we just need some filling. I don't even know if this one can pass as street food because it is absolutely beautiful with the best view of uh, the Zicatela beach. We are on the street. <laughs> well, well, we're half on the street, but also in a very like, civilized sitting area. So I probably wouldn't call this street food, but David still reckons that this is street food it is on the street. It's so cool to see them make the tortillas literally fresh from scratch right in front of your eyes where they start off as the balls and then they flatten them and then they put it on this big hot plate with the, uh, with the burning wood underneath. It's table service. We've ordered some food which should be coming very shortly. Amarillito de pollo se llama. Es una quesadilla sin queso. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Sopecito. Gracias. Frigoles, green beans, and cheese. Something like that. I'll go see. Fuck off. Do I pick it up like a taco? Like this? Mm -hmm. Or do I do it like that? Different ways of eating all the different foods. But this one apparently I, I keep it flat. However I want. Imaginación de lo permita. Pero siempre levantando el meñique en clase. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I like that. What I've discovered on this trip is that I really like refried beans. So that was 20 pesos for la empanada y 10 pesos for la sope. Entonces, 30 en total por todo. 30 pesos. We then made our way to the beach and saw this lady serving very refreshing looking fruit cups. Gracias. It cost just 20 pesos for this entire cup of pineapple chunks and juice. And the at the same time. <laughs> It was the perfect refreshing beverage to cool us down. It was an absolutely boiling day, so to break up the street food tour, we headed down to Caracelio Beach for a spot of snorkeling.
adventure to look for some other street food. What have you asked for? Tamarindo. Tamarindo. We met the fruit cup lady once again leaving the beach and David got both pineapple and tamarindo in his cup this time for the same 20 pesos. Come on. Vista. Fuga la tortuga. Fuga la tortuga. Los parques de aquí, aquí. Estacionar. Sí. All right, let's see what we can find in here. We rocked up at the biggest market in town to see if they had anything to offer. They have everything in this market. They've got fruit. They've got vegetables. They have meat, they have fish, they have cheese, they have shopping bags, they even have hairdressers. Pretty much everything that you could possibly need you can find in this market. But what we are looking for is some food which we can see made in front of us and eat right now. We haven't been to this part of the market. I realized for the first time just how big this market was and was very pleased when we found the eatery section. Arguably, again, this wasn't street food as we weren't actually on the street, but I thought this would be a good opportunity to find some good local cheap eats. It's difficult because ahorita it's más o menos cinco en la tarde, cual es muy muy temprano para cenar, pero yo quiero saber cuál es la más ocupado comedor en este mercado. So after a bit of searching around, we found the Commodore with by far the most people, which we assumed must then be the best. So this one's called Comedor Diaz, and it's exactly what I was looking for because it is full. There's so many people here, and I can already see from the menu that the prices are a lot cheaper here, so maybe that has something to do with it. But I'm hoping that the, um, <coughs> the food is really good too. I really, really want to try mole, so I think I'm going to go for mole de pollo. So here we go, this is mole con pollo. As you can see, I've got a drumstick of chicken, which is just absolutely drenched in the mole sauce, and then some rice here as well. Look how shiny it is. It just looks like pure chocolate sauce, doesn't it? Like Nutella or something. Do you think I'm going to like it? Sí. Really bizarre thing. <laughs> <laughs> Te I don't want to say I don't like it. But I'm gonna go for another bite. Yo it doesn't taste very chocolatey. Oh, I taste the spice. It's kind of my perfect amount of spice. Not too much. Oh, I just got, I just got the chocolate. In true Mexican style, I then turned my mole chicken into a taco. I prefer it in a, in a taco. I've got to say, it's not my favourite taste. I don't hate it. So a disappointing very first try of the mole, I must say. I reckon it's an acquired taste, but I'm glad that I tried it as it is a classic Oaxacan dish. To accompany my mole, I decided to order something else that I knew I would love. And this is a tostada de camarón. This looks absolutely delicious, but I feel like it's a disaster waiting to happen. Oh, that's good. That's my favorite. But I do love shrimp. It almost tastes like a prawn cocktail sauce. By the end of that um, tostada, my mouth is absolutely on fire. That is my max capacity for my spice level. I'm getting better though, I'm really getting better. And I even choose to put spice in things which I never would have done a few years ago. So you can tell I'm really growing as a traveler, guys. Growing as a traveler and an eater. Well done me. So this was 50 pesos. And this was 40 pesos. They have uh, hamburguesa taqui hot dogs. I don't know if that's Mexican enough, but it is street food, and this is a street food tour, and we are in Mexico, in Tonces. No estoy caliente. Ese es el carbón. <laughs> Naturally, we ordered both a hamburger and a hot dog to test how they make them here in Puerto Escondido. Toma asiento, por favor. 
Sí. <risa> Listo. Gracias. Quítatelo. Ah. Here we go. Here we go. Beautiful tomatoes. Got some onions on there. I've just asked for a few onions. And you got the smoked hot dog underneath there. Muy, muy rico. El carbón le da sabor. Con todo, no sé The hamburger has arrived. Add a new all important ketchup. Oh, oh. Look at that. El hamburguesa es 45 pesos y el hot dog fue 20 pesos. We quickly realized that the Arequín strip in the evening was the best place so far to come for street food in Puerto Escondido. There were so many market stalls and so many street food options to choose from. Atole, atole, atole. arroz con leche, atole de ajonjoli, y atole blanco simple, y café de oña. ¿Qué piensas que yo uh, voy a gustar la más? Creo que podría gustarte el arroz. Ok. ¿Es sweet o savory? Sweet. Oh, really? It's sweet. Es sweet, sí. And it's arroz. Sí. Y leche. Canela, tal Rice, vez. Milk. Y canela. Really? Sí, yo creo que tiene canela. That is the most bizarre combination of flavors. The cinnamon's very soft, which is good because I'm not the biggest fan of cinnamon. I feel like with the consistency that it should be savory. But it's not, it's sweet. I feel like this is maybe something that I would want to drink when I'm sick. You want to try it? Claro. Have you, have you had that before? Sí, por supuesto. Oh, por supuesto. Mm. De hecho, sí, tienes razón, porque yo recuerdo que mi abuela, mi abuela preparaba ah. el, el arroz con leche, sí. pero sin azúcar. Ah. Cuando tienes un dolor de estómago o un poco de... Ah, and that's exactly what I thought it might be for. Sí, It's rico. just 10 pesos. Super, super barata. Pescadillas. Pescadillas. Pescadilla de papa, taco Ajá. dorado de pollo, enchiladas y tostadas. Bean sauce. Yeah, beans, and then we've got lettuce. some lettuce. Or so then there was the chicken, you've got the guacamole, and then you've got the cheese. That looks delish. Oh, spicy. And it's cold. This is testing my spice levels. Si. <laughs> <Sí. laughs> ¿Quieres probar esto? Weirdly, I prefer it in this little roll format. Ooh. My lips are on fire, but that was really good. Uh, 21 for dos, so it's like 10 pesos por taco. So this little stand is outside the Arroquín Anador Turístico. Chipa, bistec, barbacoa y sodero. So she's put the tortillas on top of the insides, I guess to help with the cooking. Gracias. Para mí, gracias. Tripa. Never tried tripa. Is this so spicy? Mm, sí, pero creo que puedes un poco. Oh, oh <laughs> Regáleme un par de, de carnita de ese. No, la otra que es esa de. Viste, vistecito. Oh. It's like pork belly cheek. Mm. <laughs> cheek and the belly at the same time. Taquitos de barbacoa, bistec, suadero, tripa, campechano, surtido, se que le damos, amigo. That tastes like it's not very good for me. Hay de barbacoa, bistec. Barbacoa. Barbacoa. Barbacoa? Sí. Mmm, rico también. That's oh, more of a strong, meaty flavor. Gracias. I'm not sure I like it as much as the other one. Buenas noches. 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 Bu
So again, that's just DS Pesos Porta Seco, which is about 30p. So you can really kind of just load on as many as you want, and you're not going to be spending very much. You haven't found any gorditas in Puerto Escondido, no. though, have you? No, I'm so sorry. No, no hemos encontrado gorditas. ¿Usted sabe dónde venden gorditas? Unas ricas gorditas. No, no, I am part of Escondido. Extraño, Rosita. So, unfortunately, we did not find David's beloved gorditas in Puerto Escondido. Do let me know if you know where we can find them here if they do exist, but our bellies still were well and truly full after that day of eating only street food. And between the two of us, that was 341 pesos, which is about £12.50, so £6 each. And that was way more food than what we would normally eat in a day, but we just wanted to show you as many things as we could find. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you'd like to see more of the kind of things I've been eating since being in Mexico, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.